The news shocked her fans and it sparked a national conversation on women's health. Actress Angelina Jolie announcing yesterday that she just last week had had her ovaries and fallopian tubes removed to prevent her from getting cancer. She released the details in a New York Times op-ed. This just two years after the actress also underwent a double mastectomy to prevent breast cancer. Jolie says she's talking about this to empower other women to take control of their health. This morning, we're finding out if you should be concerned as well. Jackie Ochoa is live in Scottsdale with more. Hi, Jackie. Good morning, Doug and Faye. Yes, we are turning that question over to Dr. Angela DeRosa. She's here to tell us the most and answer the most important question is who should be taking the steps that Angelina Jolie did? Who is this applicable to? So when you have patients who come in with a positive BRCA genetic testing, either one or two or a combination of both, they are a 90% likelihood of developing breast cancer in their lifetime and 50% likelihood of developing ovarian cancer in their lifetime. These are terrible odds for any woman sitting there looking at her risk of developing either one of these significant illnesses. This is not something to be taken lightly when you have to do a bilateral mastectomy or removing reproductive organs. So it shouldn't be something that we're doing just because you have a fear of developing developing these cancers, but someone with a true genetic risk of developing these. Okay, so first step is, though, is to find out if you have this particular gene. Talk to me a little bit about that. The BRCA genetic test is something we should be screening, so you need to look at your own family history. So I look at the 1123 rule. If you've had a family history of someone who has ovarian cancer any age, if you have a family history of anybody who has breast cancer before the age of 45, if you have two family members under the age of 50 on the same side, first or second degree relative, or three of breast cancer in any age group in your family. Those are high risk women and they should be screened. Okay, thank you, Dr. DeRosa. Now I want to turn it over to you guys. Go on Twitter, Jackie Ochoa on Twitter, and ask me any questions that you want to have Dr. Angel Angela DeRosa answer for you about this topic. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio, though, now for now. All right, Jackie, some important information there. And as always, talk to your own doctor as well before considering anything. Yeah, and, you know, insurance goes into this and yeah. what they're willing to pay for because a lot of times they are not willing to pay right. for that testing.